This is uh, from the AdMats paper IGCSE, uh, one of the paper ones that you have, May, June 2013. This is question number 10. It carries 10 points, or rather 12 points, and 4 points each for 3 parts to this question. So a total of 12 points, and it involves coordinate geometry. You are given a curve y equals to, uh, I've drawn a little picture on the right hand side uh, just to give an idea what this problem involves. Let's start slowly. We are given y equals to x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 1 and we are asked to write the equation of the tangent at a point A. Okay, And they gave you at A x equals to 2. Okay, so what are we asked to do? We are asked to write the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point A where the x-coordinate is 2. So before anything else, let's go ahead and find the y-coordinate at A. So when x equals to 2, uh, y will be equals to 2 cubed minus 4, 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. When you clean this up, you will get 8 minus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3, so I'll get uh, negative 5. So let's plug it in to negative 5. Now we have the coordinates of the point A. To find the equation of the tangent, we need dy dx. So let's go ahead and find dy dx. So dy dx will be equals to uh, 3x squared minus 8x plus 1. So to find the gradient of the tangent, we need to plug in the value of x, which is 2, into the gradient function so that we can get the gradient of the tangent. So x equals to 2, the gradient of the tangent, let me write it here, the gradient of the tangent will be equals to 3 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 1 and so here I'll have uh, 12 minus 16 uh, plus 1 I'll have minus 3 so the gradient of the tangent at A is negative 3 now we can write the equation of the tangent we'll have uh, y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 so we can write y plus 5 equals to negative 3 x minus 2. When we clean this up, you will get y equals to negative 3 x plus 6 minus 5. And you will get y equals to negative 3 x plus 1. And we are done. So let's write it here. The equation of the tangent is y equals to negative 3 x plus 1. Okay, great. So what was the important thing here? Do your differentiation carefully. Uh, find the value of the y coordinate. Do that carefully as well. And uh, the rest is using the equation of a straight line and cleaning up the numbers and getting your answer. Okay? Then they tell you that this tangent line meets the curve again at B. So we asked to find the coordinates of B. Okay? Now, the coordinates of B, B is a point of intersection, so we have to carry out simultaneous equations. So, this will be, let's say, equation 1, and equation 2 will be the line that we just obtained, negative 3x plus 1. So, we're going to solve in simultaneous fashion, so let's call this equation 2. So, we can write x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 1 will be equals to minus 3x plus 1. Okay, where are we heading? We are trying to uh, find the coordinates of b. So when you clean this up, you will get x cubed minus 4x squared. I have x here and I have negative 3x, so I can bring it across here, so I'll have 4x and the ones will go and I'm done. So let's take out one of the x's, so I have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0 so x equals excuse me let me factorize this first 
as x and x minus 2 all things squared equals to 0. Looks good. So now we have x equals to 0 or x equals to 2. So we can't use x equals to 2 because that's the value or rather that's the x value of a. So for b the x value must be 0. So to find the y value for b that is not difficult just plug into any one of the equations 1 or 2 and when you plug in you will get the y value is 1. Therefore the coordinates of b will be 0 1. Okay? Great. The next thing so now we have uh, already we have already we have done everything correctly we have already collected eight points. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to find the perpendicular bisector of AB. So let's do that slowly. Okay, the perpendicular bisector. Now a few things about the a couple of things about the perpendicular bisector. We are looking for the perpendicular bisector yeah, of AB. Now, this perpendicular bisector of AB, it will pass through the midpoint of AB, okay, midpoint of AB. So, let's draw one line here, okay, this is the perpendicular bisector, this is the midpoint, let's label it M, okay. So, M will be X1 plus X2, right x1 let me write the formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so in our case we can write the coordinates of m uh, 2 plus 0 2 divided by 2 is 1 and minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 so we have the midpoint of m 1 negative 2 okay let's write it down here okay let's make some space this will be 1 negative 2 okay then we need the gradient of AB now the gradient of AB we know the gradient so I don't think you want to spend your time and you can if you want go ahead and use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 but you already know the gradient of AB because you know the equation of AB is y equals to negative 3x plus 1 so the gradient of AB let's write it is negative 3 Therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector will be what? 1 over 3 using m1, m2 equals negative 1. Great. Now we can write the equation. Yeah? The point is 1, negative 2. Okay? 1, negative 2. Gradient is 1 over 3. Let's write y uh, minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Okay? Use the formula for the equation of a straight line. Uh, we need to clean this up. You will get uh, y equals to 1 over 3x minus 1 over 3 minus 2, and you will get y equals to 1 over 3x uh, minus 3 minus is minus 6, so you will get minus 7 over 3, and we are done.